what's cracking you too? It's your boy Jason Yamamoto and today I want to make a big shout out to Vince Del Monte. I was watching your video the other day about um, does cardio kill muscle gains and I just want to say that was a really really great video but we all know why I'm making this response video is because there was a certain line in your video right in your answer to the question where you said that excessive cardio stores belly fat and everybody looked at you like you was crazy okay I think I know exactly what you were talking about so I want to explain it on behalf of you if you don't mind so I hope you accept this um, video response and not look at this video as a, a way for me to target you and criticize you I'm not so when you said that excessive cardio stores belly fat um, what I'm guessing was that when you said that was when you are in a caloric deficit your metabolism seems to slow down and your body wants to store as much energy as it can so it makes it very difficult for the body to burn off that fat that is about 70 to 80 percent true now once uh, you you gone uh, down to a certain caloric deficit, right? That um, that caloric deficit. Then, if you then if you have been on that deficit for quite some time, your body will recognize that as a maintenance uh, calorie, okay? Because you can no longer lose any more weight or fat, and if anything, the body will then uh, try to store more fat so then you will have to literally reverse diet up to get the metabolism going again so that way it can start um, burning more fat now now when you uh, <laughs> I'm trying to get the right words come out of my, my, uh, my mouth so um, with proper nutrition which is your pretty much your carbs, protein, fats. If you track those three macronutrients um, and with the right training, you can lose the belly fat and you can still continue doing cardio. That's if you're competing, right? That's if you're prepping for competition, which is trying to lower your body fat, whether if it's for physique or bodybuilding. Am I not correct? So as if when you're trying to get into competition uh, ready you have to do cardio but without the proper nutrition and training um, to get that excessive little bit of fat left off your your stomach or anywhere in your body um, that is very important now now if you if your diet is lacking right if your diet is lacking and you're trying to do excessive cardio yes you will store some fat now let's talk about the muscle loss okay let's talk about the muscle loss um, there's two kinds of muscle you got the uh, sacromere and then you got the sarcoplasmic the sarcoplasmic is the the soft looking muscle right is the light looking ones the aesthetic muscle that a lot of people like to talk about and then you got the uh, sacromere which is your denser muscle which of the two will lose first if you do excessive cardio and we all know it will be the sarcoplasmic as for the sacromere uh, hi uh, hypotrophy which is your denser muscle it doesn't necessarily disappear because with intense cardio or anything that has to do where it targets the central nervous system uh, essentially it will get stronger okay like a horse a horse continues to run it's going to get stronger and faster am I not correct but like I said with proper nutrition and diet um, it everything affects everything okay so without the proper diet and you continue to um, do excessive cardio yes you will lose maybe even both muscles because the body needs to feed off certain calories and certain um, energy sources 
and if you don't have enough fat on your body then it will target your muscle but then in order for your body to target the muscle you have to be like almost at zero body percent body fat okay zero percent body fat and to even get to that level you really must not care about your body your nutrition or anything so should you be worried about losing excessive muscle when you're doing cardio uh, while you're bodybuilding not necessarily I mean you're going to you're going to see a difference uh, if if you're not doing it correctly if you're not if you're not tracking your calories and it's not matching to your training then yeah you're going to lose the sarcoplasmic hypertrophy which is the steady muscle uh, gains well you know with everything being said follow up on Vince's, uh, Vince's um, video he covers the rest uh, that's the only little part I want to talk about anyways guys especially you Vince it's your boy Jason Yamamoto and I'll talk to you guys later nice. 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 Nice.